Hi everyone, I'm Sharanya. In this video, I'm going to talk about star genotyping and interpretation of data. Star or short tandem repeat genotyping is a forensic investigative tool. It is used to identify the allele set specific loci between question and reference sample. Star genotyping is a method that employs polymerase chain reaction using fluorescent label primers. The amplicons are later separated and detected by capillary electrophoresis by a process known as fragment analysis. The peaks in the electrophorogram can be interpreted and analyzed. Star profile or star genotype is a combination of all alleles from all locus into a single series of numbers. There are different steps in capillary electrophoresis and the steps are explained here with the help of a flow diagram. The software program used in this process is labeled on the right hand side and it is known as Gene, Gene Mapper ID software. The star kits take advantage of fluorescent dyes that are spectrally result in a capillary electrophoresis instrument. Each peaks are associated with a specific dye color and it is compared to an internal size standard. Most popularly used size standards are GS500 Ralph's, that is a red fluorescent dye, and GS500 List, an orange fluorescent dye, in order to get it sized. Data produced in a capillary electrophoresis instrument contains some baseline noise. Analytical or peak detection threshold must be set up in a CE instrument. The peaks below the peak detection threshold is considered to be unreliable and it is less than 50 RFU. If the peaks above the stochastic threshold that is greater than 150 RFU, then all amplified alleles are detected in a particular profile can be analyzed without any allelic dropout in that locus. The software program for the analysis in CU instrument AB310 and 3130 is GeneMapper ID. Electrophorograms might contain peaks other than the target alleles, and these peaks can be due to technical or biological issues. The analyst identifies the peak and edits them out of the genotype to prevent incorrect analysis of data. When a star loci is amplified, a minor peak shorter than the main peak is observed. Starter uh, peaks are one repeat unit less than that of a shorter allele. Starter filter software can remove any starter products. Incomplete adenylation. Incomplete adenylation occurs when there is too much DNA or thermal cycling condition that affect the optimization of a PCR reaction. TAC polymerase is used for amplifying star loci, which catalyzes the addition of extra adenine nucleotide on the 3' end of amplicon. Commercially available star kits have been optimized for complete adenylation. Incomplete adenylation results in split or double peaks. Genotyping software call one of the allele as off ladder or microvariant allele. Analyst edit one of the alleles from the electrophorogram. Triallelic patterns. Extra chromosomal fragments or triallelic patterns occur when primer alleles get duplicated in one of the chromosomes. A mixed sample contributes to your DNA profile, resulting in more than two peaks in a locus. It is called mixture sample. Pull up or bleed through. The inability of an instrument to properly resolve a dye color is known as pull up or bleed through. The peak observed in one dye color will be recorded by the sensor as another dye color. The second peak might generate that can be a technical artifact. The artifact can go unrecognized considering them as two alleles when they are of substantial height. Clumps occurs when excessive dyes clump together and mask a true allele. Noise can be seen as small peaks. The other artifacts present in an electrophorograms can be air bubble, urea crystal, voltage spike, and sample contamination.